Hi, welcome back to my channel. I have been talking about this book for about five minutes, but my camera was not on. So we're gonna get started. This book review is for Death at the Dinner Party. It's an Adam and Eve mystery number two. Now, that's just the name of the series and our characters are Francesca, Eve, and Adam. So we never call Francesca Eve in the book, not in book one and not in this one, book two. She simply called Francesca. But her and Adam are immature sleuths. So what brings them together? Well, before I talk about this book, Death at the Dinner Party, let's talk a little bit about the first book because I didn't do it on this channel. And it's called Death in Disguise. In the first book, Eve, who is a caterer, was catering a soiree at Adam's mother's house. He, she was working for Adam's mother as a caterer. She's an exceptional caterer, widely requested, and now she's working for Adam's mother. Well, one of the guests that was at the soiree was found dead a week later. Somehow or another, the police, who mainly detect Chief Inspector Nell Bradley, felt very sure that or made Adam's mother the chief suspect in that murder in the book Death in Disguise. So Adam wanted to prove his mother's innocence and since Eve had worked in the house, she herself became a suspect for a time. So the two ended up trying to solve that murder, not just to solve the murder, that was secondary. The first thing was to prove Adam's mother's innocence as well as Eve's innocence and then to find the murderer. So that's all Death in Disguise. Now let's get back to this book, Death at the Dinner Party. This dinner party is for Keith Chapman and his wife, Mimi. Now, Keith is a businessman uh, who makes business deals. So he has invited several guests to his house to pitch his business deals, okay? That is the reason for the party, but it's a glamorous, ritzy house and it's a glamorous, ritzy party. So Eve or Francesca has a lot on her plate to make these menus exactly the way that the demanding uh, hostess Mimi wants. Well, even before Eve can get her first meal on the table, Keith Chapman is found murdered by the maid. And I, if I'm not mistaken, her name is Heather. I'm not really sure. Uh, I didn't write her name down. I didn't write anything down. I never really do. But anyway, the maid found uh, the host. Uh, keep, I'm going to let this cat down. He's been on my lap for about 20 minutes. He was, he was tired of being up here. Okay, so the maid finds Keith Chapman dead. Now, when she finds him dead, the first person she runs to is Francesca. So her and Francesca go and, they, and Francesca sees the body. She asks the maid, did you go in the room? She says, no. She says, okay, we're gonna call the police. So they call the police. And so Chief Inspector Nell Bradley comes and peruses the crime scene. She asks the same question that, you know, came up. Did anybody go in the room? Did anybody touch the body? Okay, so now Nell is in charge of the case. Now there's one thing that I'll say about Nell is she is perhaps one of my favorite characters that I have read in a long time. I loved her. I loved her. She may be a secondary character in this book, but she's becoming a favorite character in this series for me. Okay, but she determines that whoever killed Keith Chapman was somebody that was in that house when he died. Who's in the house? You have Keith. You have Mimi the wife, you have Francesca, you have Adam, you have the maid, you have the houseman. I think there might even be a, another <clears throat> person in the home, like a worker. And then you have the guests. And of these people, now determines that one of them is the murderer. And that makes her have to query now, excuse me, Francesca as a suspect. But the thing that makes me like Nell so much is she likes Francesca. She really does. And a lot of times when you read Cozy Mysteries and Amateur Sleuths, the police constantly tell these people to mind their own business. 
Nell is constantly telling Francesca and Adam to stay out of it. But the looks that she gives Nell shows how kind she is. And I don't know, that endeared me to her, the cat's back. That endeared me to her. I, I really, really liked her and I loved her in this book and I'm sorry, I gotta make room for my cat because you know, cats rule, right? So anyway, um, so that's so so that's where we are right there. Is we have Nell as a sub, excuse me, we have Francesca as a suspect. Nell forced to treat Nell uh, Francesca as a suspect <coughs> because suspicion does fall on everybody. But no, I just can't believe that Francesca would commit murder. But she has to do her job. Okay, now what do you? How is Nell going to about? going about solving the murder and how is Francesca going to go about proving her innocence and maybe solve the murder at the same time okay so after the police chief comes in and involves himself in the case or the or the police come in and the case gets almost solved there is a likely suspect and that suspect is arrested so pretty much dinner party's off. Nell can pack up her, her cooking utensils and whatever she has and head off. But Nell doesn't think the police have the right person. So it's maybe about 60% of the book at this point when the police arrest their suspect. So what happens in the other 40% of the book? And that's where uh, Nell and Adam work. And I love Adam as well. Adam is a young genius. Um, now is a housewife with a uh, teenage daughter, happily married. Adam is a smart, smart young man. And now he's working with now. And he's pivotal in finding who the actual murderer is and proving that the police have the wrong suspect. So that's what that book is for you. Um, Murder, no, Death at the Dinner Party by Emma Davies. You can get this at Amazon. Um, I, I'm just going to bring it up because I like to do that now. And it's probably going to be $3.99 if I'm not mistaken, but I could be wrong. Nope, Kindle Unlimited. So if you have a Kindle Unlimited subscription, you can get this book. Alrighty. Thank you for watching. Um, I hope you have a pleasant day and I appreciate you being here. Bye-bye.